Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the platform, to the channel. If you are new, if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I have missed you all so much. <laughs> it's been a very long couple of weeks, but I hope that you all have been doing your work. You've been really working internally and meditating, getting things straight, doing some deep dives. It's very, very important to do that, especially during Mercury Retrograde. I hope that you all received some really positive news during this time, that you've been able to uh, make amends with folks that you may not have been on the same page with. I'm willing that you all were able to, you know, find a happy medium, you know, be able to, you know, repair relationships that mattered. Um, I will that all is blissed in your world, that there's just good energy, good vibrations happening for you all. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I have absolutely no reason to complain. I'm very humbled, very thankful, have a lot of uh, some exciting things happening in my life, in my personal life. So I'm really, really stoked about that. Um, today was the day for the reading. Spirit said I could go ahead and, and, and start channeling again. And so uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to tap in, beloved. You know how I do. We're going to take a deep dive, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the beautiful Scorpio Collective. As I said, I will. You all are blissed. If you are new, beloveds, the way that I do things on my side of the planet is my spills eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you are more than just your sun sign. So check your natal chart and look and see what's in your rising sign, what your moon sign is, what your Venus is, what your Mercury is. And it will give you a very detailed uh, description as to who you are. So it's very very beautiful um, when you can connect the dots for yourself and see how certain uh, information uh, that is generated from your natal chart really correlates with you. You know, it really uh, is exactly who you are. <laughs> so it's important to learn that chart um, and also to learn you know, the the other aspects of yourself. Like I said, you're more than just your sun sign. So um, we have that. Also, my readings are timeless. So whenever this video has found you, that was the divine timing and in divine order that that has taken place. Um, I don't ask for anything other than you all to show love, reciprocate the gesture of love by hitting the like button. You could go ahead, share the video if you so wish to do so. Um, also subscribe if you haven't uh, been, if you aren't subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button, but hit the likes. That is uh, the way that YouTube has now, uh, I shouldn't even say now, but that's the way the algorithms work on YouTube in order for other people to discover this reading that I am taking my valuable time, precious time, and we know time is like currency now, to do for you all. I do deep dives, which means I get in depth. I am a Scorpio, so that is a part of my makeup. I'm very investigative. I want to know how, when, who, why, what, where. I want to know it all. So that's why I dive deep into the readings to provide you all with a very clear and concise message and as I said the way that you can reciprocate the love is by hitting the like button I don't have a donation request I don't have a cash app I don't have any of that spirit already told me just provide these messages and the way that the love is reciprocated and rotated is by hitting that like button okay so um so some of the downloads that I receive, beloveds, is I'm going to start my readings with a sound bath. I'm going to bathe you with melodies from either a singing bowl, a tongue drum, my kalimba, a flute, my djembe drum, um, maybe even chimes, my uh, whatever it is. Uh, today I've chosen my chimes and a singing bowl to give you your sound bath, um, just to, you know, bring the, the frequency up. We want to, uh, you know, have the vibrations higher uh, so that we could get a really powerful, powerful download from spirit today. 
So I also want to use this as a means to center you all and to get your energy right because I don't know what type of state of mind you all are in when you click play, but I do want to uh, make sure that you are grounded, balanced, and in alignment so that you can receive the messages, Ashe. So we're going to start off with that. Before we do, I want to do some house cleaning. I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala and mama oya and baba ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the energy the number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards and so it is so mote it be ashe 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 also if you are new i am an intuitive reader um i am an empath and i do uh channel messages Claire audiently so I will be playing music in the background and those songs whether the lyrics of the songs name of the song name of the artist even a timestamp uh, it will correlate with what's coming out with the cards as well as what I may be channeling intuitively and so it's just a beautiful way in which the messages will come out but as I promised we are going to head go ahead and um, we're going to take a sound bath uh, Shay, and this is the blackout series so if you all are looking for the video or the picture there is none beloveds this is the blackout series i'll say dark matter series so there is no picture okay that is i just want to let y'all know so there's no messages throughout the reading saying hey i don't see a picture and it's like please um read the description or just active listening all right <laughs> all right beloved so let's go ahead take a deep die a uh, deep inhale and then we're going to exhale you could do it three times i'm going to do it three times three is a very magical number so we're going to go ahead and do that um and then we'll proceed with the sound bath ashe so give me one moment all right so let's go ahead inhale And then exhale. Inhale again. And then exhale. One last time. Inhale. And then exhale. You should feel really grounded at this time, really good energy. And as I said, we're going to start off with the chimes and then we'll use the singing bowl. So we're going to have a beautiful sound bath at this moment just to center our energy. Shay, beloveds, beautiful sound bath. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. All right. And next we're going to utilize the singing bowl.
Ashe. Ashe, 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 beloveds. Whew, that feels good. So we're going to start off. Let me go ahead and get the music going. See what we got playing. All right. It looks like we have Orange Moon. Beautiful. This is by Erica Badu. So the moon phases. A lot of people use the moon to manifest, to call in what they desire. The moon is very powerful um, energy, which helps you to manifest your desired outcomes. And we have 88 manifestation on the bottom of the deck. And I just want to show you that manifestation 88. So this is the numerology deck. So some of you all, your manifestations are coming true. I'm hearing wish fulfillment. I'm hearing things that you've prayed for and asked for are coming into fruition because this eight and eight reduces to 16, which reduces to seven. And the seven is related to the chariot. It corresponds with the chariot. The chariot is about a yes answer. It's about forward movement. And I just had a horn. Somebody's driving by and honked really loud. So I believe like that is confirmation. Uh, that there's something coming in, rushing in, perhaps unexpectedly, uh, you know, because maybe uh, this is something that you've been praying for and asking for. I feel it's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment as well. This is going to make you feel very satisfied. This could be even a, a wish fulfillment in love. You know, this could be someone returning. Maybe this is someone who has cancer in their chart because I picked up on the chariot this is someone who may feel you are wish fulfillment to them maybe your stars this person may see you in the spotlight this person may see you as a star see you as someone that could be getting a lot of recognition maybe this person didn't recognize you at first this is someone that wants to work together someone you could have walked away from because they didn't know your worth or didn't see your worth or your value I feel like you learned a lot from this person because it taught you to love yourself. You realized that love was an inside job. And you healed and grounded yourself and balanced yourself and poured into yourself. And those vulnerabilities that you had initially, you know, you turned those things into superpowers. I feel like you gave a lot because when I see this eight, I'm getting all of this eight energy of the eight of cups I'm seeing where you was giving and giving emotionally to someone and it was not reciprocated. Then I'm seeing the eight of swords where you was up in your head about this, but you really focused more on healing yourself because this eight and eight, like I said, reduces to 16, you know, and the 16 in traditional to row. Um, not 16, the 16 reduces to seven and in traditional tarot, the seven is correlated with the uh, chariot. And so this chariot is all about balance, finding balance within oneself before you can take action, before you can, you know, embark on something new, you have to be balanced, grounded and in alignment within yourself. This is also about, cons you know, having confidence, having um, assertiveness having a sense of, you know, self-discipline, strength, power, dignity. So this is beautiful. So manifestation, um, I said it was manifestation, but it's actually abundance. Apparently I can't read, <laughs> but I know y'all was looking at that like, that don't say manifestation, that says abundance. But I just caught that because the number um, eight card, I believe in this deck, is uh the manifestation but this beautiful energy of abundance i feel like you are coming into a very abundant time things are flourishing for you life is i'm hearing life is grand and i hear that it's because these are things you've manifested so whether through becoming that you know channeling your own inner magi the magician or even you know your inner alchemist it's like you created the reality that you are now living in things that you've prayed for asked for hoped for even manifested are now starting to come into fruition that's beautiful on the split we have five change so there are some positive changes that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment emotional fulfillment satisfaction i'm hearing joy i feel like you've been learning you've been growing you know, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone that you are attracting to you. But I see with this five change that there's been some positive changes like this. This is correlated or connected to the Hierophant in traditional Tarot. And the Hierophant is very much like the High Priestess, very wise. 
and they learn from the experiences that they've had. So they carry ancient wisdom. They're like wizards. They're like, you know, very, very informed. So this is when you go to seek, you know, wise counsel. So you may be speaking to an elder, you know, perhaps in your family, a master teacher, a pastor, you know, um, someone that you trust, someone that you know they have wisdom. You know, they are very wise, very experienced, very well-traveled. So they have a difference of opinion. Their opinion is it trumps your own, but it also it's uh, there's a wealth of knowledge that you could you could choose from or pull from. This is studious energy, like you're sitting at the feet of someone and learning. So maybe some of you all went back to school. Maybe some of you all are learning under a master teacher. Maybe some of you all are learning under some, a shaman, a healer a light worker of some sort, even someone just in the spiritual practice. Maybe some of you all are taking classes, but this is a positive change, and this is going to positively impact your life and impact your finances as well. Some of you all have been very frugal when it comes to your money, you know, being very frugal, being very mindful of where you are circulating your coin, you know, what you're investing your coin in because you want to see a return in your investment yeah a lot of you all have also completed a cycle you know there's been something has come full circle i'm feeling strongly like you all have just wrapped up a cycle that you have been in for quite some time and the beautiful thing about this is that it's really just a matter of um it's really a matter of changed perspective those that's the most change um you know that's where the most change has taken place is in your mental in your mind because i feel like you had a lot of time to reflect upon things that have already occurred reflect on circumstances from your past and maybe you could see you know how uh there's been parallels to certain circumstances you know, so this is almost like, you know, seeking, you know, seeking within the answers that you may have been searching out external for, but you've taken that necessary time. And this is how you may, you're, 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 you're feeling confident enough to complete a cycle because it's like you've already done your assessments. I feel like with that moon song, orange moon, orange deals with the uh, sacral chakra and the sacral chakra is really about, you know, that's the powerhouse. That's that's you having a sense of self-love, self-care, self-discipline, but also moving to the beat of your own drum, accepting yourself for who you are. And so with the moon, there was a lot of things that may have been hidden, you know, within you, things that you, emotional um, traumas, childhood traumas. Okay, I think my mic just went back out. I hope that you all are back. I hope you could hear me. That was very weird. My com my voice just went out. I heard it go out. I hope that it's recording again. There's no way I could check without stopping it. And if I stop it, then I ruin the video. So I'm just going to walk in faith with this one. So with this nine completion, this is definitely telling me that either you have been wrapping up, completing a karmic cycle and learning some very valuable karmic lessons or someone that you are attracting has um, just finalized some sort of karmic lesson. And so we have right now troop, and this is called All I Do Is Think Of You. So this could be someone that is at a distance because nine is also giving me like the nine of wands, someone that you've created boundaries with, someone that you have not been in communication with. Maybe you have put someone on uh, pause, on time out. Maybe someone has ghosted you. You have ghosted them. Uh, but someone is can't stop thinking about you. All they do is think about you. Um, all they do is dream about you. Nine is also giving me nine of swords where there's someone suffering from insomnia. Just so, this constantly thinking, constantly dreaming. Maybe someone's waking up and, in, 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 you know, um, having like cold sweats. So the card that pulled out was 78 spiritual career. 
So many of you are with this 15 reduced into six, very psychic. You have high energy psychically, very spiritually connected and tuned, tapped into your higher self, tapped into that God frequency, that Christ consciousness. So I feel like many of you have been chosen, you know, um, you are anointed, you have a gift that you are here to impart and share with the world, share with the collective to help heal the collective, to help awaken the collective. There's a very uh, powerful gift that you have psychically and I feel like you feel at home doing this. It's like it's it's like second nature to you. I feel like this is something you're very passionate about, something that you enjoy, you love. It's like it's your favorite pastime. It's just like a hobby that you enjoy, but if you enjoy something so much, it doesn't even feel like work. So this is just like second nature, like I said. And I feel like this is really, um, this is also connected so, to someone from your past. Maybe you have a very strong spiritual connection or soul tie with someone. Someone from your past, someone that you, someone you felt you had a lot of chemistry and it was just a, an undeniable synergy between the two of you. And maybe this person thinks of you a lot. And maybe you're picking up on the fact they're thinking of you because you're highly spiritual or this could be a vice versa situation. But someone that is in relation to this connection that I'm picking up on, one of the two or both of you, because with that 8-8, eight, eight, I just feel like both of y'all could be, you know, you know how to co-create, you know how to set intention, manifest. Um, so I do feel like this could be a, a, a matter of um, just you and your person mirroring one another. But someone could really be just thinking of you so much and you're picking up on them energetically. This is someone that loves you because six love is on the bottom of the deck. And this is giving me like the six of cups. This is also giving me like the lovers. The lovers is overseen by an angel. So that means that the angels could be conspiring behind the scenes. The 78 reduces to 15. That's also another six. So this is also saying you and this person are still mirroring one another as well. Because the 78 reduces the 15, 15 reduces the 6, and then the 6 right here. Let me just show you so you could see, because that breaks down everything, the numbers and everything. So I'm very detailed. But um, so what I'm seeing here with the 6, 6, this is, you You both are very, very much, um, I feel like in you're in love with one another from at a distance. You know, this person is very attracted to you, very drawn to you. And we have... Um, come and come close so there is distance this person is dreaming of you daydreaming thinking of you you could be picking up on it with the six and six that's like intuitive communication or telepathic communication i should say and this is someone from your past that wants to return and this is a very spiritual partnership this could be like a past life love this could be someone that you deem your twin flame or your soulmate or your cosmic companion or they deem you that this is an epiphany that someone could be having as well waking up to this truth so let's see what's coming in from my beautiful scorpios may i have a message of love and light so the overall energy is spiritual career i feel like a lot of you all have been Honing your skills, your gifts, your talent, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, you know, just really learning. You know, that's why I, I, I was seeing manifestation when it said abundance, because I just get a sense of you all being very busy, just manifesting, creating. And that orange moon song, you know, moon's phases are usually typically the time that people will, you know, start to. Uh, conduct their magic spells you know they will start cooking up their little magic spells during the the moon phases and so with that full moon something's manifesting and it, it's it said abundance so i just i feel and it's a pink card so i do feel like there's an abundance of love abundance of financial freedom happiness abundance of you know opportunities that are coming in it's like the door to personal healing and happiness is opening up for you and we have this number 67 here now and this says um, physical activity. So I do feel like this is someone from the past who didn't make enough effort because I was picking up the eight of cups with the eight, eight abundance. You know, so I felt like you may have been pouring into a vessel that may have had some holes. There was some, you know, just, you know, some sort of discrepancies with the chalice. Someone wasn't reciprocating. Someone wasn't, you know, showing you um, their appreciation for the time, for the effort, for the love, for the, for the, 
just for the the respect you could have been showing the connection as well being very you know nurturing being very attentive to this person I just see that your, your, your heart was in the right place because all this pink that's coming out is just showing me that you were emotionally intelligent and someone else could have been just very logical very you know just very up in their head and so they made very little effort physical effort because this physical activity is 67 67 reduces to 13 so there was a death in this connection due to someone's lack of effort they didn't make the effort and that led to the end that led to the two of you kind of like this this situation just kind of ending um prematurely suddenly i feel like someone walked away like you walked away from this connection because someone wasn't making the effort and I feel they wasn't making an effort because it was up in their head and they could have been kind of biting their tongue as well because with the 67 it's a purple card but inside of the uh, symbol here it's um, blue but this person wants you to come close to them they feel so they feel like they are out of touch with you they feel like they're not on the same page. This is someone that misses you, longs you, for you, dreams of you, daydreams of you. This distance, this separation is really, it, it's, you may not know this because they're not communicating this to you. But this person, this has caused someone to change, to transform. And we have 87 synchronicity here on the bottom of the deck so this is absolutely someone from your past because 87 again is 15 that's six so this ending this time out this pause you ghosting this person has absolutely led to them making excuse me some sort of necessary changes I feel like they're making some necessary changes within themselves And we have Layla Hathaway. This could be love playing. So this person is coming to this epiphany because remember with this 87, that reduces to six. This is that aha moment. With synchronicity, they could be hearing songs. Maybe this person is seeing a lot of 888, 777, 1111. You know, maybe this person is seeing 444, whatever the case may be. This person may really be seeing um, a lot of synchronicities are having a lot of, of synchronized events, which is letting them know that there's uh, something very significant, something very special, perhaps about the connection they have with you. I do feel like they are up in their head a lot. You know, because this purple it correlates with like the uh, crown chakra as well as the first die chakra. And so the two cards... Um, the card pertaining to the person you're attracting is all purple with blue. And so this is showing how they are very much in their head, but they are not communicating as much. They desire to. And now this 87, we're about to clarify how they feel about you. And we have synchronicity. They feel like you match their fly, that you're a like mind, that they have a lot more in common with you than they initially realized or cared to admit maybe they were deceiving themselves because the eight of swords I was picking up earlier remember those were mirrored numbers eight eight is a mirrored number and I always say um, you know just in case you're new and don't know whenever I see mirrored numbers I always feel like that is you and your divine counterpart mirroring one another on the spiritual journey and so that eight also could represent the eight of swords you know and the eight of swords is self-imposed mental anguish that's when you are just, you know, kind of like self-sabotaging, you know, talking yourself out of things that you should, shouldn't be talking yourself out of. You should be kind of challenging yourself to do the things that you fear the most. But this person here is really definitely um, becoming very aware of um, the connection they have with you. And so we have love partnership just flew out. Number 26. See that? And we have some other cards that flew out. So this person definitely is someone from your past that you've walked away from. And I feel like they do want to move forward. They want positive results out of this situation. Because I feel like they're trying to show you that they've changed. 
you know, there's there's been some major transformations within them. Maybe they've completed or wrapped up a cycle. We have 81 leadership. So this person has also realized this is what's hidden is they're learning to take charge. This 81 is nine. So maybe there are some underlining factors. Maybe they had to be single. They could have been in a relationship at the time that you and this person were trying to connect. Maybe this is something that they failed to express or share or admit to. Maybe it's something that wasn't serious initially. And it was just out of, it just got out of control. But what they're realizing is this actually, this connection with you could be love, according to Layla Hathaway. And then with love partnership, this person can see themselves, envision themselves in a relationship with you. They feel that you are their wish fulfillment because this 26 is giving me, this is how they feel about you. They feel like you are a wish fulfillment, like you are everything that they have prayed for, asked for. You embody all of that. And we have the number 96. This is the outcome, forgiveness. So forgiveness is always for you first and foremost. So if someone wronged you or does something wrong to you, um, the worst thing to do is, is become angered or to have and carry resentment and animosity. We have a happy ending on the bottom of the deck, number 93. But um, with this forgiveness, I feel like this is about just showing compassion, not judging another person, not judging, judging yourself even for what has taken place. Whatever has taken place, there's nothing you could do about it. All you could do is move forward, upward, and onwards. And so I feel like this person has learned from you. This is the major transformation that they have made. And I feel like they've learned this from you because they saw how you stood erect, how you stood your ground, stood up for what you believed in, and you took control of your life. You became, you know, very uh, independent, self-sufficient. You became a leader, a boss. You didn't, um, you didn't beg anyone. You showed them that self-love is the best love. And so you took care of you. This is about that, that um, self-love, self-care that I was picking up on. Love is an inside job. And so when you care, when you heal yourself you begin to love yourself and so now that you love yourself you know yourself and so you're you're really um you're exerting or exuding i should say you're exuding this energy of confidence beauty uh charisma you're very intriguing very alluring you're even seen as very wise very maternal very paternal you know but this is a very um attractive energy someone really sees that you love yourself you're taking care of yourself your finances you're like independent single and this is someone that really wants your forgiveness and this is still that same person because the six so we got 96 and remember that six was showing up for you know I was picking up for the other person, someone from your past, this 96 for forgiveness. Obviously, if someone wants your forgiveness, this is someone you know. So they could have done some things. And I feel like there's a happy ending because someone is realizing just how natural the connection with you is. See, communication. I can't make this up. These are the cards on the bottom of the deck. So we have happy ending. We have um, nature, 74. So 93 is happy ending, 74 is nature, and then the number uh, 33 is communication. So this is absolutely what this person desires to do. They want to communicate with you because they feel like the connection with you is a la natural. Like you stimulate them mentally, emotionally, physically, like they feel very ecstatic. They feel very happy around you. There's a lot of yellows when it comes to this person and their feelings for you. Their feelings have grown you know, this is someone that wants to heal this connection as well. This is someone that's definitely thought long and hard about it. And with the 74 reducing to 11, remember 11 is associated with the twin flame number. And so we have, um, we have, um, Cambada. And so this, this is really someone, and this is called God Lived. It's a play, uh, and it says Devil Dog, which is God Lived Backwards. So I do feel like this person is someone from your past because obviously the, you would have to, you know, we know during Mercury Retrograde, a lot of people from your past will pop up and appear. Um, but I feel with this song, God Lived, I feel like this is the, and was 
a karmic situation that you had to learn from. I feel like not only did this person have to learn, but you also had to learn from a karmic relationship how to love yourself, you know. And I feel like this is something that this person also had to learn. And that could be the reason why the connection between the two of you was premature because you both were still learning karmic lessons from your karmics. And that's why spirit is saying be forgiving, you know. Forgiveness is for you, you know. It isn't, it isn't about carrying around resentment, animosity, pointing fingers. We're all going through our experiences, you know, and we are all to learn our lessons in divine timing. Someone was learning a lesson, as were you. You know, but now there's an opportunity for the communication to open back up. And spirit is saying it's going to lead to a happy ending. And I feel like it's because the both of you are going to, you're not going to be able to fight the chemistry, fight the connection that you two share. That's why you're being brought back together. Because the six, which is the lovers, the six, which is also, you know, that six of cups, someone who's had some time to, you know, assess and analyze the situation is now you know changing their mind remember the five change card showed up and so that's also like the five of cups i'm picking up someone who had deep regrets and remorse for maybe the way that they handled a situation and we have sade is it a crime playing right now so this person is you know saying is it a crime for me to be wrong is it a crime for me to make mistake for making us to make a mistake you know am i going to be penalized for this for the rest of my life like can we discuss it i feel this person really wants to open up the the lines of communication and clear the air because they've had some sort of you know there's been some some illumination some truth like i said i feel like somebody has come to some sort of epiphany or realization about how they feel about you and with this connection i feel like you know they definitely are feeling things happen very organically between the two of you that you two are like minds, that you two are, you know, on the same page. You may have the same interests, you may have the same goals, you may be into the same spiritual practices. It's just like there's just a connection that's undeniable. And Spirit is saying this is going to end very happily, very happily. So let's get some um, messages from the Witch's Wisdom deck, beloveds. So let me get this deck out of here. All right. On the bottom of the deck, we have fire, passion. So there's a lot of passion. I'm hearing it's intensifying. It's growing. Is it a crime? This person is definitely feeling very much in love. And I see hex here, banishment. So somebody could be doing like love spells on someone, trying to bind someone, keep someone stuck. Maybe someone has discovered that because I see cauldron containment and then I see air imagination. So maybe someone has come to some sort of epiphany. Someone has realized someone has been doing something to keep them stuck or to run an interference in this connection with you. Let's see what's coming and going out going on. Whenever I see that hex card, I feel like there's definitely like some sort of black magic, dark magic, but someone's feelings I'm telling you, their feelings are intensifying. No matter what dark magic, black magic, whatever love spell someone is putting on someone, it's not preventing this person from, um, from their, you know, preventing this person's feelings from growing. And then we have moon cycles here. Yeah, this person has deep emotion. And there's also, I feel, a very strong spiritual psychic connection that you share with this person. I'm strongly picking up the fact that this person thinks about you a lot. And we have the death card here. So there's been some sort of major change. I'm hearing there's been a lot of changes. There's been internal changes, mental changes, like transformation. Huge changes have taken place. And I'm getting in and I keep hearing within someone's consciousness. So it's like the old version of someone, old belief systems, ideologies. Someone has rid themselves of those things because they've been able to see where they were self-sabotaging. Maybe someone was doing spells to have someone confused, conflicted, mentally conflicted. And so we have guardian, beautiful, 
and it says spiritual career. So many of you are, like I said, you are chosen. You have been anointed. And then we have hand fasting union on the bottom of the deck for um, we are about to when we clarify the person that you are attracting to you. So this familiar card, like I said, I definitely feel like you have this sense of knowing of what you what your purpose is. You know, I feel like many of you have just kind of jumped into something um, just out of pure passion and you're starting to discover that you love it. Um, this feels like something that comes very natural. It's like second nature. I was picking up on that. So with this familiarity, maybe this is something, a practice that you've done, you know, in former lifetimes, but I feel like it's, it has a lot to do with your psychic abilities, your intuition, even maybe some of you all have been tapping into your psychic gifts after taking like Cambo medicine. Maybe some of you all have recently um, had some Campbell medicine and it's awakened you to what your spiritual path is, your life path, purpose is. Next, we're going to clarify physical activity and then we have hand fasting here, union on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like this is someone that does look at you as a twin flame. 67 reduces to 13, that 13 reduces to 4. So this is like that divine masculine. And the Divine Masculine, the Emperor, is someone that is was not um, taking any action in the past, maybe out of stubbornness, maybe out of pride, ego. But I feel like there's been an ego death because 67 reduces to 13. 13 is the death card in traditional Tarot. So maybe there was some sort of painful ending, a, a ending of a marriage. This person didn't take action with you because they could have already been involved. But maybe this person is already looking at moving forward with you because they feel like they've missed some sort of opportunity. I see marriage in your future. I see this person, this person proposing. And I see two people jumping a broom. So with this physical activity, I, th I feel this time around they've learned that they have to be uh, more active. Like they're going to have to show you how they feel. They can't play the cool, suave guy or, you know, the hard to get chick. Like they know they're going to have to be very uh, active in showing you how they feel and expressive as well. I hear a siren going off. So I see spell and it says manifestation. So this person is manifesting you. This person is actively manifesting you. This just jumped out. So they could be writing in the manifestation journals. They could be doing love spells of some sort, but maybe this is someone else that could be trying to trying to hinder someone's ability to come towards you or to come into union with you because we did see that hex butt um, card during the shuffle. But it said banishment, and the guardian card also showed up, which shows that there is uh you know protective energies around not only you not only this person but this union I get a strong sense that this union is bliss this is a spiritual union spiritual partnership maybe the two of you are to come into union to you know conduct and operate a spiritual um career or spiritual business and so we have someone named remedy and this is called Me Remedy meets Wu-Tang. And so this person is trying to remedy this situation. I really feel like someone is trying to remedy this connection with you that had ended prematurely because they could have been under a spell. Manifesting you back. And we have uh, spring on the bottom of the deck. That's the new year. So they, this person sees you as just very beautiful. You know, the spring is when everything's blossoming. They may see you as someone that's blossoming. They may see you as very beautiful. They may see themselves wanting to, you know, have this new beginning with you because the spring is really the new year to me because that's when everything is blossoming and growing and alive. And the winter is when everything is dead. So I don't look at the winter, uh, the dead of the winter as the new year. I don't see January 1st as the new year. I see the spring as the new year. 
you know, that marks a new year, new beginnings, new life. And so this person sees you as a new opportunity. I do feel they watch you from a distance, you know, because this Watchtower card, this is, I feel like they are watching you at a distance. And you've created this distance, most importantly. I feel like you took initiative to teach someone your love language, to teach someone how to treat you. You have to teach someone how to treat you, you know. And it's just simply by just loving yourself, taking, you know, prioritizing you, not letting people walk all over you or treat you like a doormat. But this person watches you and they see you as beautiful. They see you as just really a breath of fresh air, you know, learning and growing. They feel like they could have happiness with you, like they would be completely fulfilled, you know. And so we have shadow scrying mirror here. So this person is doing their shadow work. I was picking up on someone having some karmic lessons and really just, you know, completing karmic cycles. And that's really what this looks like because with the scrying and the mirror shadow, this is someone who's definitely, you know, kind of behind the scenes, hidden. This is also that person that mirrors you as well in a lot of ways. But they are... Perhaps, you know, someone that is doing their, in you know, their shadow work. This is someone really doing their shadow work. And we have healer here. And that is the, um, that's clarifying the 81 leadership role. So this, this is what's hidden is, you know, this leadership role is every, first of all, every great healer had to first heal themselves. And with this 81, you know, that 81 gives me like the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups. This is someone who's prioritizing themselves. This is selfish and loving me, myself, and I. This is someone who's focused on healing themselves and making sure that they're um, healthy, mind, body, and soul. Healthy and in alignment spiritually, emotionally, mentally. This is someone taking onus and accountability and responsibility for their part, for their role, for the, where they are. And this is also how you help to activate and trigger and awaken others who may be under some sort of spell, you know, by you healing yourself. And if this person is watching you from a distance, they're learning from you. This is teaching and learning. At its prime. So someone is absolutely learning from you. And we can see that this with the shadow, the mirror, this person is in the mirror that they're watching. So they're watching you heal. And they're desiring to communicate. But at the same time, you could be coming off very guarded, very in a protective bubble. And it's very understandable because of the past, because of what you've endured, because of your experiences in love even. In friendships, relationship dynamics, where you gave and gave and gave and had nothing to show for it in the end. This person knows you've learned some harsh lessons. They know that they were a part of that as well. So that's why they just watch, waiting for the opportune time, you know, to perhaps come in and extend an olive branch to apologize and to ultimately ask for your forgiveness. Maybe they see that you're healing and you're growing, so you're not carrying them out around as much resentment and animosity as you may have initially. This person sees you've been growing, you've been healing. On the bottom of the deck, we have remembrance. So your ancestors, your ancestors are here definitely protecting you, protecting this union as well. Give me one moment. Pardon me for that. My son called me. He's on his way home. So with this ancestors, I do feel like you all definitely have some ancestors that are reminding you um, just to be humble, you know, just to be forgiving, you know, to just kind of um, not judge situations, especially those that you may not understand or understand fully. You know, that's why I think the communication is coming. And we have um, Melba Moore, baby come to me. So I do feel this person is coming to you with an apology and asking, you know, for your forgiveness, ultimately. This is someone coming in humbly. And I do feel this is someone that's 
like a past life love. Like y'all have a very strong connection here. This isn't just some some rando. Like this is really somebody that you had a very strong chemistry synergy with, but something happened which broke that that bond. And so we have protection here. So you've been very protective of your energy. And I see this beautiful prosperity card, feminine uh, lady goddess. We have intention and we have passion. And then we also had um, fertility. These all flew out at the same time. Balance. The high priestess responsibility, death. We have uh, guidance containment banishment and then boundaries so whoever this is it's like you have some sort of power you know to cut some sort of yoke or hex or spell because spirit is saying with this responsibility card which is the high priestess this is like that's why spiritual career is here and then we have guardian many of you are chosen you have been anointed and i feel like you are the ones that are going to cut this, this cord, this yoke, this hex, whatever this is that someone has placed upon another person, trying to contain them and keep them stuck. Someone's doing some sort of love spell. Someone could be getting um, readings on another person, spying on someone. But I feel like there's a major transformation in someone uh, psychically, mentally, emotionally. And I feel like the more you heal yourself, the more you protect yourself, the more you protect this union. I feel like that's why this is the responsibility card, the high priestess, because you carry ancient wisdom, especially with spiritual career. It's saying that you're the uh, chosen, you're the anointed. And this is a spiritual union because we have fertility here along with lady goddess and al along with the chalice. Oh, wow. Look at this. The, you got the divine feminine lady goddess, the, the, the chalice, the fertility, the prosperity Someone's definitely trying to block this union because it is preordained. It's destined. It looks like it's written in the stars. Like this is your wish fulfillment and they are yours. And there is some old hateful manipulative person here trying to block someone. But look how this sword, you know, cuts someone free. This is the clarity. This is seeing things for what it truly is. So this is what I'm seeing here. So this is the first group of cards. You see that, that hex card in the middle? This is the hex. So someone's hexing a situation because they are trying to keep someone contained. And that's why I was picking up like love spells because I saw it during the shuffle that someone's trying to contain another person. And that's why this cleansing is on the bottom of the deck. Because someone needs to take a spiritual bath. Someone needs to really cleanse themselves, mind, body, and soul. Someone needs to really purge and release something. I feel you all are magi's, alchemists. I was picking up on that. And I feel like that's why the spiritual career card came out. Because you all have a passion for this. Like this is something, this is something that you just naturally do. You know, you set intention, you master, you know, you, you call in what you desire. Some of you all are seers, scryers, psychics, channelers, intuitives, tower readers. You could be empaths. Whatever your calling is, it's like you, 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 you have this strong passion for it. And I feel like this is what is helping whoever it is you're attracting to you to snap out of whatever spell they're under and to bring them back into equilibrium. This person is going through a transformation. And they're changing from one mindset to another. And with this fertility card, it's really showing me that there's a very passionate, deep connection that you share with another person. Someone is very drawn to you. Someone loves you. I already picked up on the divine masculine energy. And there goes the divine feminine energy. So this is deep love and passion. Someone has had some sort of major epiphany. And I feel like you're receiving rewards and recognitions because of the work that you did. You know, you don't get to this place of, you know, abundance. Because remember, the 88 abundance card was on the split. And for you to have abundance, 
Remember, I said you could have an abundance of love, abundance of finances, expansion, growth, happiness, joy. It's an abundance. It's a plethora. It's emotional fulfillment. And this is something that you've manifested. The protection card came out to clarify the forgiveness. So I do feel like, you know, spirit is saying, you know, you are very forgiving, but just make sure that you that you don't j let all, you know, let your guard down. You could forgive people f at a distance. You could forgive them from afar, you know, but definitely protect yourself. You know, maybe you've been super protective and spirit is saying, you know, that um, you should let up a little bit. You know, you could have been super defensive and, and, and very guarded is what I'm picking up. But spirit wants you to be a little more forgiving, more kind of your, more maybe giving of yourself even. So let's see what we got. We're going to pull some cards from the African-American tarot. So you do have an I spy. I was picking up on the I spy here and I see the page of swords on the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely someone that's ready to speak to you, but this is also someone that is watching at a distance and then we have the nine of swords so they are suffering from insomnia ruminating pining overthinking this is analysis paralysis self-sabotage they're they're telling themselves all the reasons why they shouldn't come in even though they want to they're waking up in the middle of the night this is someone that just is not getting enough rest because they're constantly thinking of you and then we have the knight of swords here so this person definitely may have said some things they regret, which is why forgiveness is here. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So they're ready to come in and offer you, um, you know, offer you an apology. And I do see this hermit here. I did mention the hermit. So the hermit is a wizard, you know. They go within their cave and they search within for the answers that they're seeking. And so this is someone that's definitely been doing their due diligence to, you know, do some self-assessment, self-analysis to, you know, reflect and introspect. And there goes the Eight of Cups. So you definitely walked away from someone that you felt was kind of like emotionally manipulative, um, in and out, not really making the effort. Um, this is someone that constantly challenged you. You felt like it was a challenge. You felt like it was... A struggle to get on the same page with this person you felt like this person was just very egotistical and loud you know they wanted to be chased you know perhaps maybe this is someone that expected you to just chase them expected you to do all the work but you do feel this person was emotionally manipulative play be maybe playing on your heartstrings maybe knowing what buttons to push and we have the seven of wands. So you created a boundary with this person. You definitely uh, created a boundary. And there goes the Hierophant. Everything that I mentioned is here. So with the seven of wands and the Hierophant, I definitely feel like this person had to go um, into deep uh, meditation. I was picking up with the five change. The, the Hierophant is here. That's five. So this is about someone like really maybe seeking advice from like, you know, an uncle that's been married for 20 plus years, 30 plus years, or maybe even, you know, a feminine energy going to a grand aunt, you know, going to that um, matriarch or the patriarch in the family and just asking questions, you know what I'm saying? Picking their brains, sitting at the feet of the elders. But this is a very studious energy. Someone's been learning you know, someone also learning, you know, what their skills, gifts, and talents are, you know, and we have the Eight of Swords, didn't I mention Eight of Swords, so that's self-sabotage, that's someone up in their head, questioning everything, I mentioned the Strength card, so Strength, someone's mustering up the Strength and Courage to express themselves, to say what they need to say, this is that person that was, um, you know, kind of running away, running away see that we got this knight of wands that flew out so the knight of wands is really that flighty energy someone who just you know kind of like all over the place you know flighty here one minute very passionate you know but then dashes out as quick as they came so they're not really committed non-committal type you know 
and maybe that's what your higher self first eye was forewarning you with the familiar and guardian maybe you were able to see someone's player ways and you dodged a bullet you know maybe someone was able to see themselves because you held up a mirror to them but I feel like you was protected nonetheless from that energy and we have this hierophant so I do feel whoever you was dealing with Scorpios whether female or male I feel like someone had to go into you know hermit mode someone had to go learn a little more this is seeking higher learning wise counsel like this is like seeking deeper broader understanding and so we have the six of swords and the six of swords is all about you know moving on so this is someone who's finally um discovered that they had a snake you know they had a snake around them because you see how this man is looking forward and not at the distraction that was trying to keep him distracted this same um hooded person is the way the uh concealment card was depicted in the witch's wisdom and that was the person who was a hidden enemy and that card showed up with the um hex card and so that's someone that is like a hidden enemy someone that is very uh malicious someone very very uh, beguiling you know very you know speak with a forked tongue that judas type of energy so this six of swords someone has realized they were under some sort of spell you know and this spell was preventing them from being able to manifest some sort of new start new beginning you know maybe even you know it was affecting their stability their independence their finances and i see this person is moving away from this this energy they're making a conscious decision they're looking forward they're not getting distracted and we got the king of cups here and this is clarifying the 26 uh, love partnership along with the scrying mirror shadow and the king of cups is your energy Scorpio female or male you all like I said could be dealing with a cancer because remember seven was very prevalent that was the first card that flew out it was the 88 um abundance so the king of cups is really someone that's very devoted very loving very emotionally intelligent available affectionate attentive they feel very deeply but they don't express it so this could be the reason why the mirror is here shadow because this is someone who is kind of like hiding their feelings hiding their emotions but they're ready to take action we got the 81 leadership and witch healer which is clarified by the two of wands and so the two of wands shows that someone had to make a decision they had to choose the direction they wished to go and i feel like there was two directions they could go and one direction was towards someone that felt like love that was nurturing that had a very warm energy and another direction it felt more like a job and obligation maybe someone was being held hostage because of a child and I'm, I'm hearing that it wasn't even their child so maybe someone guilt trips another person you know because of a child but this energy is showing with the 81 leadership that someone really took you know control of a situation really bossed up took control of the situation and focused on healing themselves focused on you know getting themselves back on track and we got radiant um children this is called life's a bitch so definitely you know someone's been through a lot and there goes the star card i told you all someone sees you as a star there goes the star i feel like you both see one another as a star but this person is definitely wanting your forgiveness because they see you as a star you may be in the spotlight they're just recognizing you to be very different and that's why this protection card is here because you could be very protective of your energy very guarded at this time you know not letting a lot of people in you know and that could be why spirit is reminding you to be you know compassionate to be forgiving to not judge others you know based off of the past you know change behavior is how you can determine whether or not someone has changed you know whether it's not even change but whether someone has grew you know whether they have grown uh since the last time you've spoken to them 
So if you don't see changed behavior, then chances are if their behavior is still the same, then chances are, you know, might be running game on you. But life's a bitch has shown me that things have not been easy, you know, for either party, especially when you see the death card that speaks to, you know, painful endings, losses, you know, truths. You know, it's necessary to go through, you know, transformation. It's necessary to go through changes. Uh, but the change, it could be very hard, you know, the experiences that you endure. But you all have are seen as very beautiful, very, very powerful even. You know, you've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. I also feel like you all are receiving a lot of wish fulfillment and blessings. Um, there's a lot of recognition surrounding you. I just see people... Um, kind of watching you, studying you, learning you. So let's see, why is the, let's go ahead and clarify the forgiveness card, the protection card. So why is forgiveness and protection here? Thank you, spirit. And so we have the four of pentacles. Yep. So this person has been holding on to you and they have had that light bulb moment. Remember I was mentioning like a light bulb moment, an epiphany. This is what they've had. You see that man up there with the light bulbs so someone has had some sort of grand epiphany that you are the one for them you know that they don't want to let this connection go you know that you are special and we have poor righteous teachers rock this funky joint so i do feel like maybe they was you know they want to do the right thing i get you know but i also feel like i said earlier like this was a teachable moment for this person this is like that teaching and learning so you've, you've taught them. They've been watching you heal. You know, and they feel, they feel really, um, you know, this, this lack. They feel this lack, you know, without you in their life. And this person is really trying to figure out, you know, how to open up the lines of communication. Because they are holding on to you and you're holding back, you know. And so they're really wanting to come in and offer you something real and tangible but you are very, you know, you're coming off very guarded, very, very defensive, you know. Um, you're in a very protective bubble, especially with this circle of protection here. You know, this card, this magic circle and the protection. So you, you're you coming off very guarded um, in this person's eyes, as you should, as you should, rightfully so. You know, so let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on in the bottom of the deck. I am seeing the five, what is this, the five of wands. So there's a lot of competition. Maybe there was a lot of competition, and that's what led to the ending. I'm using the dark grimoire. So there could have been a lot of competition, and you were just like, I'm done. Now I see the six of pentacles. So there was definitely a lot of rotating, you know, women rotating, uh, men rotating. There was just a lot of different people in the picture someone was trying to be a player that's why they couldn't make the time or they refused to make the time they didn't prioritize you you know he was definitely not a priority because they had so many different people in rotation and it was only when you know you stopped communicating with this person when they started to realize just you know the magnitude of their feelings you know sometimes absence is all it takes and so with this world card, you created distance. This person could be at a distance from you, but they've started to learn. I feel like they learned from you. Like you, 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 you triggered something, you know, you triggered something within this person to start looking at themselves and changing. I also feel like you also started to master your craft. You started to really, you know, tap into your divinity as a divine feminine, divine masculine. I feel like this person was confiding in the wrong people maybe they're confiding or asking for advice now you know and sometimes the only advice you need is your own that's why meditating is important you know because sometimes people can only give you advice based off of their own experiences so it's like if somebody went through you know a situation where they was in a relationship and they was cheated on and then you come and ask them of their opinion it's like, y'all, your, your situations are not, it doesn't mirror one another. It's not identical. So the way that they may deal with a situation, it could be different from the way you should deal with yours. But it's like, 
that's why it's important to you know go within and not seek advice from external sources because that is a very confusing energy when you have so many different opinions it's important for you to just kind of meditate and get things straight between yourself because all of the questions you're asking they're already within you anyway and so we have the ten of chalices what did i say i feel like y'all are going to be very emotionally fulfilled like the door to personal healing happiness is just opening up to you all. I feel like there's opportunities opening up, new opportunities, whether promotions and careers, you know, whether you are signing new business leases, contracts, loans is being approved. Like, I just see opulence because this prosperity card also flew out, you know, with all those the rest of those which is wisdom. And so I just feel like there's blessings, recognition, and reward. And we have Jimi Hendrix, and this is called Hey Joe. So some of you all definitely was in a third-party situation. Some of you all definitely could have been dealing with someone named Joe. First, middle, or last name. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. Trust your intuition. You already have the answers you're seeking. You know, you already have the answers that you are seeking. Sometimes people will come in and try to confuse you purposely and we have the seven of pentacles so this is someone you that's come this person that's coming in is definitely someone that you have planted seeds roots with this is someone that you you know wants to build a nucleus with you wants to work hard because i don't feel like they made the effort in the past i just get a strong sense of someone being very egotistical thinking it was all about them we have the strength card see that so you are very strong. I feel someone is also mustering up the strength. This is someone that could have been thinking with their, you know, smaller head in the past. Or somebody who could have been just fast in the ass. And that's why you was protecting yourself because this person was very immature. You know, even superficial. You know, superficial, you know, just chasing the wrong things in life. You know. But we have also the uh, Nine of Wands, and this is clarifying six, 67 physical activity, spell, manifestation, and the Seven, uh, I mean, the Six of Swords. So, yeah, this is about being guarded. You're, you're, you know, this is about moving to the beat of your own drum, moving to a safe space, creating a safe haven, not allowing other people's words and manipulation to negatively impact or affect anything that you're doing just keeping your eyes on the prize you know and, and blocking out the negativity um and i also just feel like this person is really uh becoming very aware of the type of person they was dealing with it was dealing with a lot of snakes dealing with a lot of people that was um you know perhaps jealous and this person has created some sort of boundary you know, against, you know, whoever these individuals were, it's like they have, there's a fiery wall of protection here, so I do feel, you know, that could be this person also, um, you know, who could be protected under some sort of, you know, magic that you're doing, you know, where you're protecting yourself and your loved ones, or this could be something that they are just protected from because they're in this union with you, and spirit is protecting them because we have a guardian overseeing this union but with this nine of wands definitely like they're not giving anyone you know another chance or opportunity to continue to um manipulate and you know monopolize circumstances in their lives because now they can see clearly i could i could hear that song i can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way. I can hear that so loud in my mind's eye. So right now we have Nas, the definition, featuring Brucey e. B. So this is the very definition of love, you know, because this is we're clarifying how they feel about you, which is love partnership. And we have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck, the two of chalices. And look at these two people in union. Like this is equal give and take. This is everything I was saying. This person is really looking at you as someone who is a mirror reflection of them like you are a like mind everything they're into you're into you may share the same interest in music you're the very definition 
of love to this person. The two of cups is really speaking to, you know, an equal partnership, emotionally fulfilled. This is someone that definitely dreams of you, thinks of you, and they love you dearly. So why is this 26 love partnership and this mirror? And so we have the king of cups yet again. Look at this. The king of chalices came out twice. So this is double confirmation that if you guys are dealing with a um, cancer or another water sign, this person loves you like crazy. But this could also be your energy as well. This is beautiful. And so we have um, we have the devil here. And then we have the magician on the bottom of the deck. So see this? The devil is here. So someone's also, this is, this is why the healer is here in the two of wands. This devil is trying to cause, you know, some sort of conflict, mental conflict. This is a very challenging energy to deal with. And we have Toby um, Nwigi, um, dope. So this person definitely has some sort of, um, this is like a codependent connection. Someone who's stalking their life, watching them, trying to influence their decisions maybe like i said because of a child this causes this person a lot of mental anguish this person knows how to mind up them this is a very manipulative energy and i feel like your energy is more inviting because you give off like this down to earth healing mother or queen mother earth energy just very grounding and you also are uh someone who's you know very assertive i feel this person again is learning from you I feel like you're helping this person to see something clearly, whatever it is that you do. The magician flew out to clarify the 96 forgiveness, protection, and the four of pentacles. So this person does try to manifest you. This could also be someone who is trying to manipulate a situation as well because the magician is a master manipulator. So this could be someone trying to manipulate a circumstance, and that's why that protection card is also here. But I feel like this, whoever this magician is, this could be that same person that's doing hexes on the person that is trying to come towards you. Because I really feel the person that's trying to come towards you is dealing with a karmic that is conjuring up some spells. And we have judgment here, so there will be karma. For whoever this is. Let me get one more message to clarify. Um, the devil as well as the magician. Why is this devil here? And so we have the six of wands. See that? So the six of wands. Someone is trying to prevent someone from having. You know some sort of success. You see how this person is selling. This person uh, selling this masculine. Something. You see that? And his hands are straight down. As if to say, I'm not, I'm not accepting. So this is this person selling a dream, trying to cause confusion, trying to cause this person to be in two minds, you know, stuck at a fork in the road, maybe using a child to manipulate them, to make them feel, you know, uh, obligated of some sort. This is like manipulation, because that's what the devil does. Very deceitful, very tricky. Things are never what they appear to be. There's always some ulterior motive. And so that's what this person is doing with the healer here. I definitely feel like, you know, with that leadership and the healer, that is a positive energy to help combat whatever this manipulation is. And we have the, um, the knave of pentacles. So th this is why the offer is very slow coming. It's, it's slow to come because this is the energy this person is navigating, the person that's meant to be in your life is navigating some really, uh, you know, dark energy. And so they're having to be very wise. They're having to be very, you know, very uh, strategic in their steps in the way that they move and what they do. So why is this magician here? Thank you, spirit. And we have the ten of swords. See that? Somebody's living with the, uh, with the devil, sleeping with the enemy. And this is all coming to light, coming to surface. Someone's manipulation, master manipulation has been revealed. See this? The five of cups. Someone's leaving. They're finally leaving. They're parting ways. See that person in the boat? They're parted ways. And some, I feel like for you feminines, your masculines 
are freeing themselves. For you masculines, your females, your divine feminine is freeing herself. They're freeing themselves from karmic relationships. And so you just have to be patient because patience is a form of action, but patience is also a virtue. You know, you, you, this is spirit working things out in divine timing and in divine order. And you don't want anyone to come in who still has some sort of attachments. You know, you want them to completely release whatever it is, whatever baggage, whatever person, whatever circumstance. You want it to be released so that it could be all about you and this person. It could be all about your connection and not you know, having these fears that something else is going on behind the scenes. So let me get a couple more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. And so I'm dope. This is what this person is realizing. You know, maybe you've realized that, that you're too dope to be putting up with this and settling for this nonsense. We got unexpected income on the bottom of the Kipper deck. So you all will be receiving some news pertaining some funds. We got wealthy man on the split 13. So your person's also, you know, been putting in some time and energy, mastering their craft, sharpening their sword. And they got some coins set aside. That could be the reason why their energy is being manipulated. Someone's trying to keep them stuck, contained, you know, keeping them with them because it could be just about money. It could be about finances. It could be about security, someone's security. So spirit may have a message of love and light. Spirit may have a message of love and light. I'm going to clarify these messages. And what did I say about somebody being imprisoned? And this card just was sideways. So somebody does feel imprisoned. And that's why they're mustering up the strength. This is your twin. Because this is the 11. Remember I saw that. Um, I saw a card early and I was like that was 11. I think it was 56 relationships. Something but whatever it was, um, it was 11, and I said this could be like your twin flame or someone you deem to be like, a, you know, the yang to your yin. But they do feel very much imprisoned, and this is mentally. And so they are mustering up the courage and the strength to get out of this mental prison because this 11 breaks down to 2, even though 11 is, um, you know, that is like a master number. But I feel like the two, you know, because I'm getting like the high priestess. And remember, we saw that in the, um, which is wisdom, and it said responsibility. So it's this person, whoever's in this mental prison, it is your responsibility to get yourself out. And I feel like this, there is a, an effort, you know, someone is taking control of their own subconscious thoughts, you know, even whatever, um, whatever, um, You know, because I feel like they have some some strong addictions, afflictions. They could be very, um, you know, wow, I can't, that word escapes me. But this is the energy here, see? And the word I was thinking of is compulsive. So this was somebody who was very compulsive. This is the type of person that was just laying and s sleeping with everybody. And we have bloodstone, natural high. So I feel like you definitely t put this, you know, take this person to a natural high because I do feel like, you know, you stimulate them mentally. You know, that's one of the things that they are very intrigued when it comes to you. That's something very intriguing. Maybe that's something they're thinking about while they're in this mental prison. And we have the 25 here, high honor. So that's like a victory or some sort of major breakthrough. And this is, we're about to clarify the person that you are attracting. So they, they, they're having some sort of breakthrough. And I feel like it's because they have broken some sort of spell. Maybe this spell has been broken and we have a mature woman. See that? So you, you, you put him on a natural high thinking of you, you know, mature woman. You have been maturing. You've been growing. And I did say that this person is watching you, you know, kind of evolve. You've transformed in their eyes. You've grown. You've healed. And the six, they definitely see you as, you know, that twin. 
They see you as that, that divine feminine, the love of their life, that lost love, the lovers. Yeah, this person definitely loves you. And we have toil and labor. So you may have met this person while you was at work. This person has also watched you work very hard to changing. They recognize the efforts that you really put into the connection that they could have taken for granted. You're just naturally beauty. Remember that nature card showed up and I said that y'all just had a very, it was very natural, very organic, the way that the two of you connected. And so with natural high, I just feel like this person just feels like, you know, like they floating on cloud nine when, when they see you and they're around you. And this is another 38. So I do feel with this 1111, remember 29 is imprisonment. So they're imprisoned in the mind. And maybe, you know, with this 3811 here, it's like you felt like you worked hard and, and nothing resulted from your hard work, you know. With toil and labor, this person is definitely wanting to come in and offer you the world, you know. Why is this 26 and I will, I'll be around is playing by the spinners? So this is someone that definitely, they're still around. They're watching you. Yep, they're still around. And they have to, they're going to send a message to someone basically saying I'll be around like I, I'm leaving but you know if you need me I'll be around I feel this person did communicate a message that was kind of like harsh you know they said some things they now regret because it says message of concern number 14 but then there's two kings of cups and scrying mirror and then love partnerships so it's like this person definitely may have said some things they now regret because with this 28, it's like you had an expectation. Maybe you saw yourself and this person like getting married, you know. And it just didn't pan out that way. But now this person is, you know, kind of saying, you know, to someone else. Maybe this person said something to you, like, I'll be around if you need me. Which basically meant that, you know, the relationship wasn't going to be taken any further. So we have another card. So high honor is here. And the official person flew out as well. And that's the number four. And then we got this 11 toil and labor on the bottom of the deck. So there will be a victory. Someone is absolutely getting past. There's a major breakthrough in this connection with you and whoever this is. What's hidden is someone is going to be victorious and leaving behind some sort of karmic, some sort of master manipulator, some sort of deceiver. They're going to be very, very successful in getting past this person. Because what I see is this person is not buying whatever this, this devil is selling. Whatever this demonic energy that's trying to be manipulative and cunning, this trickster here, he's not buying it. And so he's going to have a major breakthrough and he's going to choose himself. The choice and decision he's making is going to be for himself or for herself. And with I'll be around, this is like someone throwing up the chucking up the deuces like I'm out of here. I'll be around, you know. And we have this official person which flew out, which is the number four. So this is a divine masculine. This is a divine masculine that is coming in and they are wrapping up some sort of cycle with some sort of karmic that has been very manipulative this person has been holding on to you this memory of this connection for quite some time and they are official so they have fought for this they're very stable within themselves confident within themselves this is someone who has also learned to love themselves we have despair here, and we have courthouse. So, yeah, this person is going through some sort of legal matters. They could be um, ending a marriage. 
ending a relationship because it says despair. So there is despair. They are, you know, it is painful. That's why Spirit is saying forgiveness because maybe they got, you know, hit with a little bit of karma. Karma Dharma. This is the way, you know, this is the laws of uh, karma is you get what you give, you know. What goes around comes around. The bottom of the deck is the 12, which is the divine feminine. This is the same as Lady Goddess. So this is that divine feminine, the Empress energy. And we have Johnny Gill singing, my, my, my. So there's no doubt about it. This person is very attracted to you, which is why they've been holding on, you know, to this connection for as long as they have. As I said, I feel like there was a lot of self-deception, self-sabotage. And it was all due in part to them being in a relationship already and not being forthcoming or honest about what was going on. And so that could be why, you know, there was very little attempt at building a connection with you because they was already connected. They was already in a relationship. And instead of communicating that, I feel like they was just very harsh. They could have texted you some a message you know, sent you some sort of cold email, some cold communication, but they regretted every moment of that. And I feel like they did that because they could have had someone spying on them, could have had someone break into their email account or, you know, hack into their phone and found information. And so they did that to appease this person or to, you know, please this other, you know, person, but they regretted every moment of it. They regretted it. Because I feel that with this despair, you know, they, they have a lot of regrets with the way that they may have handled things. But I do feel because this happy ending is here, it's like they're, they're now trying to strategize a means and a method to come in, trying to figure out what to say, how to say it, how to get you to accept their apology. This is someone that really genuinely cares about you, genuinely loves you. Yeah. And with this privileged lady here, they want to offer you the world. Like, this is someone definitely want to offer you the world. And I do feel like they was, you know, very childish in the past. They could have did some things very immature, very immaturely. That's why you came out as a mature woman, because they, maybe that's something they had to transform. They had to change into you know this mature person they had to grow a little so that's why they had to create these boundaries and establish these boundaries because maybe they was as we saw they just had so many people biting for their attention and that kind of gassed them up but this led you know this connection has also forced them to do some work on themselves because i do feel like you know you you really held up a mirror to this person and they were able to see you know, just how, how blocked they were, you know, how stuck, how stunted emotionally they were. But whoever this person is, they're very determined to come towards you. They have a lot of love for you. This is an epiphany that they've had. They definitely have been trying to manifest you back into their life. Maybe this person dreams about you a lot, thinks about you a lot. Maybe they're writing down in their manifestation journals, you know, what they want. But I do feel like this is all coming into fruition in divine timing. I feel once this person releases whatever karmics that they still have some sort of attachments to because there is a devil that's on this person's trail. And I feel like this is a very, you know, this is an attachment. And they have to cut that energy off in order for anything to, um, you know, for anything to work between the two of you. And so we have Al Green singing, um, um, Let's Stay Together. So this t definitely this person wants to stay together with you. This person wants to work together. They don't want to end this cycle. They don't even want to start over. They look at, you know, having another relationship and having to do all that work is like, going backwards this person may come back to you and say look this could be someone that you really you don't really expect this from i tell you that this is a protected union also i feel like spirit has been conspiring behind the scenes to strengthen this connection 
to also work with you all in you know independently so that you can bring your best version of yourselves into the relationship so that there isn't any interference so the psych like spirit just wanted to make sure y'all get whatever out of your system that way when you do come into union this last time it will be for the long haul this is a beautiful beautiful reading my beautiful scorpios and i hope that the message is resonated for you if you found that it did please be kind as i said in the very beginning of the video i'm gonna say it again at the end the way that you could show love the way that you could reciprocate the love that i show you all is by simply hitting the like button you could even hit the share and also hit the subscribe button help grow the soul tribe help grow the soul family Ashe. but i thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in if you found that the message is resonating please be kind hit the like button the share button the kind you know just share the video Ashe. till next time i send a big old fat Ashe. love you all peace